What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial guys I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to customize Vegas completely, how to change the layout, how to do everything basically To change the layout to your own wants and needs, I would say make sure to smash the like button down below Let's go for as many likes as you possibly can get, so make sure to smash that like button down below for me Also make sure to leave a comment and I would say let's get started with today's video <laughs> Alright guys, so as you clearly can see, we are in Vegas 15 and what I did is I, before I started this video, I'm going to uh, make the default layout, obviously, what you can do. First of all, if you want to start off, we're going to go to View, we're going to click on Window Layout and then we're going to click on Default Layout. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to customize this, so it's going to be really straightforward. So as you can see, everywhere we have those uh, few lines, we have that behind below the preview screen and we also have that on each video track. Track. Now I can already hear you guys like why don't I have those those icons, you know Like track motion the compositing mode what we're gonna do first of all is gonna be really simple We're gonna click on this icon those three stripes and then we're gonna go to the bottom one And then as you can see those all those um, Menus are popping up. So what, what you want to do in, in order to customize this you go ahead and just Select everything that you see in this box. It's gonna be pretty straightforward and basically that's how you do it So if you click on okay, all the icons are back the track motion uh, The video effects the compositing mode as you can see everything is back and that works exactly the same for the preview screen Go below it click on those stripes click on the bottom one and also go ahead and just check everything that you see so we Will actually see all the same buttons you know that we that we used to see uh, in previous versions of Vegas Pro so this is basically how to get all the icons back now obviously what you also can do is you can change uh, you can customize uh, Vegas Pro 15 completely just let's say that you want to make the preview screen a lot bigger you can just go ahead and drag this guy to the left and then drag this guy to the bottom the preview screen is appearing way bigger as you can see like this but I wouldn't recommend this because then you would you know not be able to edit your video below it because we need some space obviously so I would just keep it like this you know until we have four tracks visible if I insert one more as you can see four tracks is just ideal in order to edit your videos now what you also can do is you can uh, basically edit videos on an external monitor I'm on a laptop right now but I'm just gonna show you guys a little clip of the video I made last year about how to edit videos on multiple monitors so play it What's happening guys? My name is Alex and you probably clicked on this video because you wanted to see like how to edit on Sony Vegas like with Sony Vegas on multiple monitors. As you guys can see I have two monitors set up and I'm going to show you guys how to edit on one monitor and how to check the preview like on this monitor or something. So I'm going to show you guys how to you know how to configure all of that and how to make you know uh, that you can edit like, without a lag on two monitors that you can actually see like you can use this screen like as a huge preview screen as you guys can see it's black because my preview screen is also black I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now um, so first of all I'm gonna switch to my computer and I would say let's don't waste any time here and I would say let's jump straight into the actual video alrighty then so we are in Sony Vegas as you guys can see and basically you know in order to so show to what Okay guys, so we are in Sony Vegas and I want to mention like before you do this, um, you want to make sure that you have two monitors. And you're probably like, no shit Alex. So I think to myself like, okay, you got a point there. You gotta be, you gotta have like two or more monitors because that's what I do as well. Like I edit on this screen, as you guys can see this entire screen. That's what you guys see right now. That is what I see. And then on my second monitor, I'll show you guys a clip right now with my camera. I use my main monitor edit on. And as you can see my right monitor, I use that for a break preview screen. So first of all, what we're going to do is I'm going to drag in a little bit of footage. So you guys can see like what is going to happen and what is how it's going to look. Let me find some footage real quick and then I'll We'll be back to you guys in about a few seconds. 12 seconds later. Basically, as you guys can see, I dragged in an outro of mine. Uh, like one of the ten, I have 10 outros. I just picked a random one, as you can see this one. I'm gonna pretend that I'm just editing, as you guys can see. I'm just, I'm just gonna, you know, cut a bit, like right here, like boom, boom. Boom, 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 few cuts right there. And let's say I want to edit this on my second monitor. And the problem is, guys, when I press on the button, you guys will not see anything of the second monitor. So that's why I have my Canon DSLR ready. So I can actually like film my second monitor what's happening. So the first thing you want to do is actually, you know, you see this, you know, your preview screen. 
And then it's really simple, guys. The only button, you, or the only icon you need to press is this one. Video preview on external monitor. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to get my camera ready. When I click that button, this happens. Boom. And as you guys can see, we have the preview on the second monitor. And I'm going to show you guys like um, like how it's going to look when I play back the video. So I'm going to show you guys how to do like, like what, how that's going to look. So it looks like this. What is up, guys? My name is Nai. Awesome of you guys are watching to this new video. No, it's 9 p.m. CT. I'm going to answer four of your questions. Special. I want to announce that the Academy series is done. My name is LDHH Official. What up? I'm filming. Okay, so as you can see, previous week we did a collaboration. It's awesome that you guys are watching to this new video, this new reaction to my first video kind of video. Boom! That is basically how it looks. That's what some of this, guys. You just want to end it. I'm, I'm extremely bright. I don't know what's going on. Let me fix this. There we go. That's a little better. So basically, that is some of this, guys. That is basically how you can add it on the multiple monitors. You do want to click on the little blue icon, as you can see at the top, and then it just switches to the other monitor. So that is basically how simple this, guys. I really hope you, I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you have two monitors because otherwise, I don't I don't know what's going to happen when it, when you click on that when you have like one monitor. So basically, that's how simple this, guys. That's the video. So there's nothing more to tell you guys. That is basically how simple it is guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do make sure to smash the like button down below also make sure to smash the subscribe button down below as well for more of sony vegas tutorials every wednesday at 3 30 and fire through the camp pst you know the times they're also in my banner so you don't need to i don't need to say that every time but i just keep doing it for the new people that like around here but that's it for this video guys i want to see you guys in two hours like how to pitch your voice like higher or lower uh, because that's requested a lot so i think that's what you find it thank you guys for the continued support and I'll see you guys actually in two hours. So until then, I will see you guys very soon. <sighs> so that is a really handy tutorial. I will, I will also link that one in the description. So what you can do then basically is you can go ahead and choose on Vegas 15 only. You can choose a different layout. If you go to the options button right you know, on the top, if you go to preferences. So that is a really handy tutorial. I will, I will also link that one in the description. So what you can do then basically is you can go ahead and choose on Vegas 15 only, you can choose a different layout. If you go to the options button right you know, on the top, if you go to preferences, what you can do is when you click on display, we can we can choose uh, the colors of the tracks as you can see. So we, what we can do is for example, the track colors, color A, you can choose many different colors, you know, other than blue, as you can see, if we pick yellow, as you can see, if we drag in something else, this turns yellow so that's a really cool thing that's how you can customize them you know just you know put it back to blue because that's what I used but this is basically how to customize and if you click on apply as you can see the color is just changing that's a really cool feature that how you can actually customize you know Vegas 15 completely and obviously below those colors as you can see we can choose a different uh, interface types we have dark medium light and white so this is a, no a new feature that is not available for other previous and older versions of Vegas Pro 15 so obviously I have the dark template set up but you can choose medium light or white so that's a really cool thing what you need to do is just go ahead and check this then click on apply and just restart Vegas and then you can choose your uh, color that's a really cool feature that I use as well I'm just gonna use the dark one because I think when you're editing at night a nice dark screen you know it it is just way uh, way more fun editing when it when it's not like really that bright for example like it's like Vegas Pro 8 or Vegas Pro 9 those are like white screens so that's a really cool feature you can choose to uh, change those uh, this order as well as you can see you can put transitions wherever you want you can put media generators it's a really cool feature and that's basically what I use as well so let's say that you messed something up for example what you can do go to the view window layout click on default layouts and then everything is back obviously uh, to the default uh, layout i'm just going to go ahead and click on those icons again because i think it's a really handy thing to have all the icons below the preview screen because that's what i use as well in this program so go ahead and click on those stripes pick the bottom one obviously you, you just want to go ahead and check everything that you see in this box in order to make all the icons appear because you know, it's a really cool thing because many people have been asking, like, where are all the icons? Well, now you guys know how to do it. And this is basically how to customize Vegas 15. It's a really simple tutorial and a really quick tutorial as well. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys, obviously, tomorrow with a brand new video. So I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Just Alex Halford.